Hello. I'm not really gonna bother explaining stuff. I mean, this is a list I've been playing for the past like week and a half, and I've liked it a lot. We're at four trophies and like you know half a dozen four ones with it, so like you know. I don't think I really need to explain much there. Hmm. Certainly a hand. I think I'd rather keep this than go to, uh, than go to six. Or go to five, rather. Um, what am I putting back here? I mean, it's a land, obviously, but which one? It's probably the Zverdant. Yeah. Not a bad draw. <clears throat> Four color. Maybe? Could be rhinos with like leyland binding. Just play the Ghost rather than playing a wall plus cauldron. This cauldron doesn't exactly do anything. What the hell is my opponent's deck doing? Just like played nothing. So I can play cauldron and bowmaster on their turn. So far, my opponent has cast zero spells. I have no idea what they're doing. Like, obviously, they have, like, counter spells or something in their deck somewhere, probably, but. Whatever else they're fucking doing, I have no idea. <laughs> like, is this just four color? Maybe, maybe not. Hard to tell. <clears throat> I 
I draw an Omnath here, that would actually be pretty good for me. Because then I can go Bowmaster, shoot the Omnath, counter on something. Wilderness Reclamation. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to play this in response. And eat this thing. <clears throat> um, where is this going to go? I guess here. I mean, I can try to kill them. I have no idea what's in their hand or what else is in their, even in their deck. Should just uptake. <clears throat> I don't know if this is like the right line, but I'm going to take it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the right line, but it's the one I'm going with. I mean, it's hard to believe that this line is just bad, so. Like, I can draw as many cards as I want. I guess I can draw, you know, 15 cards, but. Um, I'm definitely not playing this Chris out of my hand, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to go combat. I'm going to talk about everything but the halfling. I want... I, I might want this mana. Because I haven't played a land, so... And I haven't used the wall. So I can play a land and Takanuma. If I, um... If I mill over the cutthroat, I should have sacked the tapped insect, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I can just pass to their turn and let them, you know, do something. Oh, I did use the wall, what am I saying? What do I use the wall for? Oh, right, I cast the wolf. Duh. I mean, I can... So, yeah, I can't talk anyway in that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know, I kind of just don't need to do much of anything. Like, they've done nothing this entire game. They cast a Wilderness Reclamation and are about to die. Like, their best play here is a Supreme Verdict that kills them. Uh, 
How much Norn? Uh, Probably want these Fulminator Mages, probably want the stuff here. I probably just want the same thing as I'd bring in against a normal four color deck. Probably just go for the third as well. Don't really need Endurance. Uh, trim some crap. Uh, hello. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm supposed to sideboard against them. Because I have no clue how their deck's trying to actually play. Like, I don't know if these cauldrons are good. I don't know if I should be cutting cords because they're, like, hard to line up well or what. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm just going to submit and see how this goes. I kind of like... I, I like Three Bill Master, I think. I think... I, <clears throat> I didn't want to cut another Strangle Root Geist, and that's kind of like where the line was at, was that I didn't want to cut down to two Strangle Roots. So the option was either play four Bowmaster and two Strangle Root, or three and three, and I think I prefer the three and three. Also, you know, another two in hand. Um, yeah. Main deck might, I think, is, like, fine. Uh, it's just not something I'm currently playing, because I don't think it's super necessary. I think it's fine, though. Like, it's not... Like, un unplayable. Like, if I was to play that, I would probably end up cutting, like, the Ignoble Hierarch. Or something like that. Or, like, the Main Deck Endurance. Like, those are, like, the, the slots that are cuttable right now, I'd say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a hard balance to to hit, and I think I just like the the split I've got right now. I mean, it's been treating me well, so I've you know, I don't see a reason to to stray away from it right now. <clears throat> it's actually when I can play Wall of Roots into Elven Chorus and hope that they don't have an answer to the chorus. I like a fucking Teferi or some shit. Something I just don't give a fuck about. Binding here. Deal. Deal. Binding my halfling. Sure. Wild. I could just play, like, Cauldron and Wall of Roots, but I think I'd rather actually, like, get this chorus in play... Because the longer it's in play, the better. And they're not really, hopefully not able to interact with it right now. Well, we have a backup. If they answer this one. You got some beans. They have no land and no spell to play here. Love that. Now oh, do I... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I really hope they go for this chorus. <clears throat> it might be worth just like eating a counter off this wall on their turn so then I can kill it on my own turn if I want to. Like, that would allow me to play around Spell Pierce, but I don't know how much that actually matters. Probably not. That seems probably overkill. Because then I'd be able to, um... Nope. <clears throat> Well, I know what this is targeting. Surprise to absolutely nobody. Find my cauldron. Presumably. Yep. Um I'll just eat the solitude and grow my army. Alright, how's this one? Ooh, it's a good one. Already gone through three bindings and a solid two. Oh, actually, they've gone through all four bindings because one's in exile. So they pitched that to the other salt to the solitude. Did not realize that. Endurance, sure, that's fine. <clears throat> I don't really care that much. It's like a bit annoying, but oh well. I mean, the fact that they're doing that instead of doing something that answers my yog, kind of like, you know, there's only so much I can care about that. Ooh. That's a card. Counterspell it.
Oh, I get to stone rain them multiple times. It's pretty good. Um, I think I want to. I mean, I'm sacking this. I'm gonna be tapping this army for mana anyways, and I think I'd rather sack it here and get an extra body. Yeah, it's like kind of awkward because I want to cast the that anyways. That's really good draw though. I could just, like, dig for, uh, Ballista to kill them, too. I'm kind of bricked. That's fine. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I kind of want I think I just want to stubble stone rain them and like leave myself with no come back come back I was a dud no I was still having fun oh oh hmm <laughs> I was enjoying myself still With two peatlands, I'm keeping this. Two peatlands and being on the play. Temple Garden. What the fuck? So they're like the Samwise combo deck. That's a good draw. Hiya! Or presumably the Samwise combo deck. They could be like Heliod, but I don't know why Heliod would play Halfling. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> when I open my mouth, I'm just like, say shit. Uh, this matchup's like probably very good though, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> no! What do, you, what do you mean? Why are you conceding? This game's not over. Um, so I think, so they're almost certainly on Cauldron, which means that my Ballista is a liability. Um, I want this Might, I want this Push, I probably want this Legion's End, probably want this Go for the Throat. Um, I'm probably going to keep the one Endurance in and not bring any more in, and I want these Forces, probably for Leyline Binding. I don't know if they're actually, like, on, I don't know what kind of list they're on, but... Maybe I only need one. I'll, I'll bring in one force. 
from the ignoble. Um, I don't think I'm just gonna do the do that. Not think about it too much. Tan's fine. It's not like exciting, but it's fine. Now it's good. <laughs> I'm really good at that. I'm really good at drawing Yawgmoth exactly when I need it. I'm so good at this game. Okay, they... No, okay, they, they might still not be actually on bindings. They're definitely not on bindings. If they're playing Razorverse ticket, there's a 0% chance they have Leyline binding in their deck. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, now I have to play Bowmaster main phase. Uh, God, I hate Twilight Mire. Or I could just, like, play Halfling Young Wolf. I kind of like that better. Just playing the two ones. Hold the Bowmaster. Um, I'm not going to walk this Halfling into a Bowmaster, either. I have a feeling there's a reasonable chance that they're playing that card. Yep. Killing half of a Young Wolf. Uh huh. I'm just gonna pass. I don't have a reason to like take action here. I mean, I could attack for two, but I think I'd rather just not do anything. I don't think attacking them like actually matters, and I'd rather just hold my shit back in case they try to do some weird shit. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's just easy. What the fuck is this? What am I looking at? On the play. Nope. Yes, please. Ship this endurance. The endurance? I think I'd rather ship this cord, honestly. Because this cord is, like, going to be hard for it to, like, convert into something with, with a, a bunch of bodies.
don't know if it's the right play. We're gonna make it. This <clears throat> burn. If this is burn, I'm gonna feel real good about keeping this endurance. It is. I am very glad I kept this endurance then. Just the thing that blocks. 3 4 is a good card against burn. Um, that ship. Forest. Are we not overplaying Grist? Probably, since it takes out this Goblin Guide. I'll just pass. Put some lands back in your deck, so if you fetch again, you'll draw into those. Attack me? Oh, come on, attack me. I don't think I can attack this turn. Not well. Uh, I'm still soft to like another searing blaze. Vortex. Play Vortex Suspend Rift Bolt. Excuse me? Uh, opponent, do you know what your cards do? Do you know what your cards do? Hello? If I just die, I'm going to be so upset. Because my opponent deserves absolutely nothing right now. Yep, five me, three you. Like, if their hand is just three one mana bolts. There's no justice in this world. No justice! No justice! Don't you dare. Right, they're fucked. They're dead. At best, they have like a uh, a Boros Charm. If they have Boros Charm, then all I need to do is not sack something, or not to uh, not activate Yogmoth, and they die. Um. Block here, two, three, four, and then die to this. I'm trying to think of how I can, like, like, there's no way they're just slow rolling me, right? Uh, can I play around them slow rolling me is the real question. I can go Young Wolf, Bowmaster... Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to think if there's a way I can play around the fact that they might have something that they're just sandbagging like an idiot. 
Um, and that involves leaving myself the ability to cord for a Zulaport and then just draining them to death in response to a second spell. And I'm trying to think if I can present lethal and do that. So I would need to leave back both insects. But then they block this, take two, take three, and then they go to one, and they go to zero with the Boatmaster. Okay, yeah, so I can, I can play around my opponent being a headass. I just need to make sure I actually tap mana for the Court of Calling. And don't just kill myself with this Vortex. Because now I need green, green, one, two, and one insect. So I attack with everything but an insect. Because I have green, 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 and two. Yeah. This is BM. This is definitely BM. It'd be even more BM if I shoot myself with this once. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I could have targeted myself with the first one. Alright, I want this Haywire Might, I want these two removal spells, I want this Shieldred, and I want these Chalices. I can cut an Ignoble, a Wall, three Grists, and a Hapatra. Alright, give me a good hand, please. Mmm, that's not a good hand. <sighs> this hand's, like, <laughs> really close, though. I'd probably keep this if, like, this Endurance was a second land. 
and just like try to race them with idiot creatures <clears throat> and a removal spell. This hand is good. Um, so I'm just going to ship the cauldron because it doesn't really do anything. Yeah. I guess cauldron... I have a cord, yeah. I actually probably should have kept the cauldron and just bought him a land. Yeah, I should have just, like, bottomed, like, swamp. And kept the cauldron. Because now... Because I'm drawing... I'm, like, drawing... Cord Ballista or um, Zulaport away from actually killing, just killing my opponent. Thank you. Yeah, and also the fact that <laughs> there's also the fact that we're on the draw against Burn, and there's a chance that Goblin Guide is going to be attacking us at least twice, <laughs> which would have meant, uh, you know, some goodies. I'm gonna be disciplined, and I'm gonna play the wolf because I like I, I want to block. I don't want to just take another hit from this goblin guide. I want to block it, and then next turn we can probably fetch. Actually, no, I'm probably not using this fetch at all. No land. No land for my opponent. Twilight Mirror. Okay, that's good. Um. I'm gonna play the land that they know about, I guess. Let's go halfling here. Where am I? Yeah, I definitely should have bottomed the swamp and kept the cauldron. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me too bad. It might though. I think I just have to take this too. Like, there's no way I can safely double block. Zero percent. That works. So yeah, I'm just gonna take the hit. As much as I would like to keep my life total high, I don't think I have that luxury right now. <clears throat> the fact that they had to spend a rift bolt on my young wolf is good for me though. I feel in a decent position. Like, I don't feel like I'm so far behind that I'm about to die. Their life total doesn't matter. Attacking with this might does not actually get me anywhere. I don't think. Yeah, zero evolution. Evolution sucks with the uh, in the builds with Cauldron. I think. Like, I don't think there's a reason to be playing both. I think Cauldron is just better.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> really wish I kept that cauldron. I don't think it would have actually done anything for me yet, but, like, <laughs> I definitely didn't need all these fucking lands. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna play the peatland. Uh, end of their turn, I'm just gonna cord for a uh, shield rid. Or if they go to remove one of my creatures. Lightning, he likes my face. You got it. Yeah, that's true. If I if I bought him the land, then I'm only ever drawing like Yogmoth, Yogmoth thing. It's like, yeah, okay. My, like my hand would be full of uh, things that cost a bunch of mana instead of more lands. So I have to go to six to do this, but that's fine. This is like pretty bad into a um, uh, path to exile. What you got for me, opponent? I mean, I feel like they have something that they're thinking about here. It might be a path to exile for a haywire might. But I don't think they'd go for it. Don't fuck with my shield please. Leave her alone. Jesus Christ. Bruh, what the fuck? What is going on? Uh, I mean, I have to start getting in. Um, I really don't want to attack with the shielder, though. I think I'm sending with just the endurance. Like, I don't want them to go block and then bolt this. That's, like, really, really bad. I could be dead here. Like, I'm dead to, like, land, Boros Charm, Bolt Spike, or Skewer. Land, Boros Charm into three, three mana, or three image, kills me. But they have to have it. And if this Takanuma finds me a Yogmoth, they just instantly lose the game. That card has absolutely no text. Like, they attack me, I'm putting this Might on this Goblin, this Shaman, or the, the, the Might on the Goblin and the Halfling on the Swift Spear, and not involving this Shouldered in combat. No tax. Fucking nothing. Uh, it doesn't matter what I take. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Hello, father.
Please concede. Thank you. <clears throat> She'd be happy I'm living my best life. <laughs> I mean, we still have the emotes of her. I'm thinking about trying a uh, diabolic intent. Talking shit on people on on uh, Discord. <laughs> Ooh, scales. This feels like a good matchup, considering we're an undying creature off of con of killing them as well. <laughs> I guess I'd rather be mana efficient and play uh, play the Zulaport. So we're gonna go Doom, Halfling, Zulaport. Where do they find? Stink Moth Nexus. I know I can actually kill them, so there's no sense in me trying to, like, draw cards now. I might as well just wait. Yeah, I don't care. <clears throat> like, if they're not doing something that's killing my Yawgmoth or my Zulaport, I genuinely don't care what they're casting right now. If it's not killing me or either of these two creatures, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, mm, that does it. It does it in a really weird way, and that's fun. So we're going to go uh, play this cauldron. Yeah, I get to grist and then sack a, uh, sack a halfling to kill itself.
That's a that's a fun line. If I wanted to, I could even stop drawing cards off the Yawgmoth by targeting the patchwork. So that I'm not, like, flipping more of my deck over faster. Just gonna do this, it's faster now. You were already dead, why did- oh my god. It's like wanted the information of looking at my deck or something. Uh, these... Uh, some Durants can get the hell out of here. Do I want- I want at least one of these Fulminators as a thing I can cord for, I think. probably don't need this. And it's kind of a liability against them having Cauldron. Sure. I mean, yeah, there's also the fact that we can exile their Ballistas, too, for that. But I think it's the fact that, like, you know, it's just, like, dangerous for me to put it in play on my own if I don't have a way to stop them from, uh, from, like, having a Cauldron or something. How's this look? I could cut a young wolf for one of something else here. For like the second fulminator. Actually, I think I'd rather have the ignoble than than the uh the sixth undying creature. Five is probably plenty. Oh I should have actually no, I should have cut a, a bowmaster and left something else in as well. Bowmasters are like pretty mediocre against them. Sand is okay. Sure. Yeah, so the way that it works is that um, when state-based actions are checked for it dying and for the modular trigger to go off, um, it doesn't... Um, there's, like, a specific rule about exactly this kind of thing. Like, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't check state-based actions to remove the counters... Uh, or it, it, it uses the information from before state-based actions were checked uh, after it dies. Because it's weird. Or something like that. Hey, every deck's allowed to have fun lines. That's a problem. It's only it's only a problem because they have red mana. So it means they can eat their hanger back and start. Um, I mean, if I don't block, they can have the Zabaz eat itself to kill the Grist. And I think I'm okay with them doing that because I have a backup Grist in my hand and I already can't cast the Yawgmoth in my hand. And this means I'm getting the Zabaz off the table so then it's uh, not able to... Fuck with the hanger back. It's a pretty good draw. Mm 
kind of wish I had that ballista now. <laughs> I would not mind being able to cord for that ballista right now. Ravager. Yep. I'm dead. I mean, I'm dead if they realize it. They have to do things properly, though. Because if they don't do things properly, I can eat the Zabaz out of their graveyard and, um... Uh... Oh, no, they're gonna have enough counters with, e with even without eating the Zabaz. Damn. And I'm more short of the, uh... Okay, if... Okay, I might, I might still have something here. Okay, I'm gonna... If they don't crypt themselves, I get to block. Okay, now I can block. So I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, my abilities uh, can be with any color, so I can pay with the halfling. Uh, I would like to get flying. Uh, I'll block. <laughs> Let's go. You fucked, idiot. That's fucking annoying. Ah! Ah! That's very annoying. Um. God damn it. I was gonna court for that. Uh. This is fine. This is fine. We're not. Am I dead? Fuck, that might mean I'm dead. No. No. There's no way. No, I can, uh, I can cord for a, um, I can cord for a Haywire Mite and pop this Crypt. Yeah, I can cord for a Haywire Mite, pop the Crypt, and then eat. Okay, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. One. That just made, just made things more complicated for no reason, though. Uh, and I want to kill this Inkmoth now so then they can't get Ozolith and save these 14 counters. Okay. Okay! Let's see if we can get there with this. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Okay, I almost... Almost threw that by not courting first. Almost threw. I mean, they threw first, 
Like, I was dead if they didn't misplay. But they misplayed. Uh, and gave me gave me the opportunity to win. I, I highly doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it that this trophy match will be against Etron. It is technically possible, but no way. No way in hell. I should, like, get my Yogg deck together on paper. I'm still missing cards for it. <laughs> Jeff. God, I really want to keep this. I can't, though. I should have kept it. Oh, I should have kept it. Uh, am I keeping this now, though? Fuck me. This is probably better than going to five. Not by a lot, but... I think it is. <clears throat> back probably the Zula board. Put almost a five. That's definitely good. Saga. Amulet. What? Oh, so they're that kind of amulet deck. Interesting. Uh, so they're playing like the the timeless lotus thing with like that. What am I playing here? I think I go dry arbor halfling. I mean, I need to draw something next turn either way. And I think my best shot is putting more mana into play. Because this gives me a land drop next turn that is thing, and it puts the halfling into play, so. <clears throat> I mean, I'm definitely not in a good spot against whatever here. They're probably just going to bounce itself and make a token. Hopefully they're just going to bounce itself and make a token. Stirrings, sure. Another amulet. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Um. I mean, that's... It's the best card we could have drawn. I don't know if it's good enough, though. Like, I don't know if I'm beating triple amulet... Like, if we live a turn, we win, but I don't think we're going to live a turn. They're probably going to go, like, Golos, Lotus Field into Timeless Amulet, and then we're just going to die. Strings again? Sure. No Amulet, please. 
or no, uh, Lotus. Fuck. That's 15 mana. Hello. Um, yeah, I have no way to interact with them right now, so... Like, I need them to brick and have no, no payoff other than this shit. Like, I need them to go, like, grab and cast Gigantha and pass. I mean, they're sitting here tanking, so whatever they have, it isn't necessarily good enough on its own, and they have to. And they're trying to figure out what their best sequence is, or maybe if they're better off just having this turn set up more and then play, and then try to kill me next turn. Like I know at the very least, one of the cards in their hand is a uh, rule turf. <clears throat> I hope they just have more lands, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely huffing some copium right now. Come on. Ugh. Maybe they're having to choose between, like, a line that maybe kills me versus something that, like, answers my Yawgmoth, maybe. Like, maybe that's where their, like, point of contention is. Like, maybe they have, like, a Karn, and they don't know what they're supposed to grab here. I mean, eh, the one ring. Okay, that's a good sign for me, because I can kill through that, and it isn't enough on its own. Karn, yep. This is probably going to get something that stops my Yawgmoth, though. It's probably getting a Needle. Or something of the sort. Cityscape leveler. Okay. I don't know if I can beat this. So I'm like almost like 100% certain they just drew the uh... they drew the Karn off the ring. I need to draw lands. I only have six, not seven. I don't know why I thought I had seven. Um, I mean, I can kill the Karn. Because I can play Strangle Root, Cord for a. Uh, Wrist, kill the cityscape, attack the Karn. Is that my best line, though? 
Maybe. I can't even play all my shit because I need I need four pips. Am I am I winning this game if I use this core like mm, so hard? Oh, I can't even play. I can't strangle root and cord for three. Cause that yeah, I have to play Bowmaster higher up cord for three sack. And that I have to I have to let them leave I have to let them keep the cityscape leveler. That sucks. It doesn't fucking matter why I target. I just need to target something. I need them to like brick forever. And that's my only real chance to win this game. And that's that's some real, you know, huffing some real copium there. To attack the wrist and shoot the bowmaster. I'll concede to another payoff now, though, because I'm just, like, out of gas. Um, yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. I know it's in their deck, so I'm not, like... It's not like I'm giving up equity by conceding, I don't think, because I already, I already understand what their deck's doing and what, what cards they have access to. Uh, I'll leave myself with one Grist and cut a wall... I want Shieldred. I kind of think I do want Hapatra as a way to like fight that shit. Hope this is good, I guess. I don't know. What else? God damn it, man. Okay. Well, keep this ship the Zula port. Hope that this bowmaster puts in a lot of fucking work. I'm just to hold the bowmaster that way I can like hold hold an additional force of vigor if they force me to use it this turn, but it seems probably wrong. Got a gardens. Yeah, maybe I should have, because that way I get to still have a force of vigor. I think I'm letting this happen.
Like, I wanted to let them use this, so then, uh, or, like, like get the amulets going and start doing stuff, so then they waste more resources. Because it's, like, a lot easier for them to rebuild. Yeah, if we figure the amulets, they don't get the copy, but, uh, this way I get to blow up both of these. So I'll do this now. I don't know, it's it's a choice. I don't know if it's the right choice, but it's the one I made, so here we are. Uh, I'll hold this in case I draw a green card. That way I can still hold a force. I can just cast a force now? Yeah, that seems pretty good too. I'm gonna main phase this, I think. I mean, our clock is not bad, so I feel okay. And I get to hold up this Force of Vigor basically forever now. Um, playing this Cauldron doesn't increase my clock at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold it. And hold up the Force of Vigor. Okay, I think they realize that they are not winning this game unless they kill me on their next turn or something close to it. Five. We're at two. Okay, game three. Game three. Their deck is very, very weak to Force of Vigor, and that's very, very good for me. Um, <clears throat> don't want to change anything else here. I could bring in the Shieldred. I don't think I want to, though. Is it better than Hapatra? Maybe. Is it better than... Does Grist? Maybe. Probably. Hmm. I'll do that. Yeah, Force of Vigor is very, very good against them. This hand is very good. <laughs> this hand is, like, awkward that I have double Yawgmoth, but I'm not mulliganing a hand with Force of Vigor Fulminator Mage against them. Like, you're delusional if you think I would mulligan this hand. Also six. Good for me. Good for me. Please go turn one Saga Amulet. Mold a five. Please go turn one Saga Amulet and then concede when I cast this Force of Vigor. Nope. That's not a Saga or an Amulet. What do we got? That's a Saga. Not playing the Young Wolf because I don't have another green card. Mm -hmm. 
there's some argument for actually not fetching just to leave more lands in my deck, but I don't think that's a real thing to care about. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass. Um, do I do this now? I can do this now and then Fulminator their Mycosynth Gardens. I have to keep holding this Besaidu as well. It feels good. Okay, okay. Yep. Jesus Christ. I'm a monster. I mean, I drew three cyborg cards. What, like, what, what can I do? What can I say? Well. What am I doing here? Oh, I can I can Fulminator them again and let them keep the Saga or let them keep the Amulet for a turn. How scared am I of a single Amulet with no extra land drops? Not very. And I still have the option to draw two cards to try and find a green card if I really needed to. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. Card. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I can't I can't keep doing this to them. This feels mean. I'm gonna draw step this. <laughs> Stop, he's already dead. Ugh. Ugh. I don't feel bad. Not even slightly. Sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna find this Tried Arbor, uh, and I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, are they dead? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight damage.
Yeah, play, play a ring and then still just die to the Zulaport. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. They're already dead. Just cast the spells and kill them. Don't don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. I'm already enough of that an asshole this game. Alright, that's number five with this 75 now. And now I'm on, on the board that, or like, you know, on the front page, visible with it. And I was, I almost had another one earlier than I lost to Living End in the last one. How long has this been? An hour and a half? Uh, I could do more. I probably need to eat, though. I haven't eaten since, like, 5 o'clock. Eh. I don't know. We go for another? What do you think? Or oh, I could do some vintage cube, actually. I could be, I could be bad at vintage cube for everyone. I need eight to be in the top five. It's like bubble top five though, so I can get pushed out easy. Really, I need nine. Still, this is six trophies in a week. A week in, or yeah, this is six trophies in eight days. So that's still not bad. I don't know if I want to go for another hour and a half with another.